Hey, this is Bill Leverty of Firehouse, and you're listening to the Classic Rock Station 97.7. Yeah, this is Johnny Martini, and uh, we're backstage live at uh, the Firehouse Show here with uh, Bill Everty. Bill, awesome show tonight. Uh, thanks, man. Thanks for joining me. We appreciate thanks. this. Glad to be here. Uh, Bill, Firehouse has been performing together since the early 80s, right? And uh, how hard was it to start out in a place like the Central Atlantic Coastal States? Uh, you know, compare that with artists from the same era that came from L.A. and New York. You know, actually, it might have been a little easier, uh, really, because we... Um, there was a very a vibrant scene of clubs back in the day there, and uh, there weren't as many bands. It, it, there were a few, but I would think that in L.A. it would have been really hard to get a gig or to get any traction because there were so many bands. But in Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Tennessee, Kentucky, that, that circuit we were doing, uh, there were a handful of bands, and it wasn't like there were 30 bands in every corner like it was in, in, in New York and L.A. So. I think we had that to our advantage, and it, it, it made us, uh, I guess, maybe try some things that were a little different because we weren't, we didn't have as many influences with, with so many bands in the scene. There was, uh, there were less, so that we had to try to figure out other ways to try to, uh, to kind of find ourselves musically, I guess. Okay, now, uh, when you guys first started out, your name wasn't Firehouse. No. It was no. White Heat, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was White Heat, and uh, we got our record deal as White Heat, and then our lawyer did a trademark search, and he found out that there were like ten other bands around the world called White Heat. <laughs> so we knew there were going to be lots of problems. So we decided to change the name, and Michael came up with the name Firehouse. So we, we thought that sounded cool. So we, we, it stuck. Oh, cool. Um, well, I didn't stop you in 1992. You guys won the American Music Award for Best New Hard Rock. Uh, metal band. How was that beating out such powerhouses as Alice in Chains and Nirvana? Well, you know, um, it, it was actually, you know, one of the highlights of our career. We were all blown away that we, that the fans, you know, liked us that much, but, um, you know, um, it all happened so fast that I don't know that we ever really got a chance to really enjoy it, because as soon as we got done, you know, with that, we were back out on the road uh, playing gigs and and you know getting no sleep and, and and working and everything so that night was uh sort of like a dream um it it came true but i still you know never really pinched myself to <laughs> you know, be able to tell whether i was awake or not but uh, you know i was meeting all these people that were like heroes of mine that night and uh, i think that was really the the really cool thing was was meeting all these people uh, winning that award, of course, was there was a lot of gratification with that, and it was it was a, a great honor to be uh, appreciated by the fans like that. Um, the fact that we were, you know, up against Alice in Chains and Rafan, I'm not sure that that was really um, anything that really made uh, uh, had a, had a huge impact or or anything because those bands are so good and they had such huge success. But I think the fact that we had our record come out a little earlier than, than theirs did might have been the fact that, that made, uh, made us win that. I, I don't think that if, if we had come out a year later, uh, we would have won that award uh, you know, against Nirvana. You know? They changed the music industry. It's funny, you guys are still around and uh, Kurt's not. So. Well, yeah, uh, you know, sorry to say. I mean, he wrote some great stuff. He, had a, he was a great musician, great artist and everything, and he was a troubled soul. Yeah. And, uh, you know, things didn't uh, work out for him. I wish he could have uh, hung in there and gotten some help um, because I think he would still be making great music today, but we can still go back and listen to his stuff, and, and, uh, and I'm in awe when I listen to his music. It was very, very moving. That's impressive coming from, uh, from a guy that... You know, the, let's face it, the the 80s metal, you know, that was a death nail when Nirvana came on. Well, and you know, I always looked at it like, uh, you know, that they came out with something very different, and good for them. I mean, um, they didn't really have any uh, uh, negative uh, vibe towards any of the other bands that I was aware of. I mean, they didn't want to try to end our genre. It's just that the, the music industry was ready for a change, and they came out with such a cool sound 
that um, all the program directors of, uh, not all the radio stations, not yours, obviously, yeah. but a lot of the radio stations said, you know, we're, we're not going to play bands that sound like the old classic hard rock kind of sound. We're going to go with a new alternative sort of grunge kind of sound. That's what we want to do. We want to be hip. We want to be on the cutting edge. And, uh, you know, you got to let some, you got to kind of jettison some, some, some people. And that's kind of what the industry did. I don't think Nirvana had that that uh, that you know uh, intent when they came out. They just wanted to come out with something different. And good for them, they did. Now you guys, uh, you know, have a huge following over in Europe with the melodic rock bands and Australia, Asia, places like that. Uh, what's what's the difference in the crowd? in Asia versus, I mean, here in Iowa. I and mean, you said there on your Facebook page, you love to play in Iowa. And CJ even said it during yeah. the concert tonight, you love to play in Iowa. I mean, Iowa is just like one of the most rocking states in, in this country. And I love this country. So, um, and I don't know what's really different about it. I mean, I know that when you go to, when we're going to Greece, uh, you know, in a couple of weeks, it's a long way to get there. The people are great. The crowds are great. I mean, it's, it's a really passionate. Um, th their inhibitions, I think, might be a little less. Their 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 love for music is. Um, I wouldn't say more. I'd just say it's kind of different. But um, here in Iowa, and uh, in the Midwest in general, uh, we had some success back in 1990 through 93 or whatever, and it it, it stuck. And so fortunately, fortunately, we can still do a lot of gigs in the Midwest, and Iowa is one of our top three strongest states in the country. So we, we play here more than probably anywhere else. Yeah, I've, I've noticed that. Uh, you guys mentioned tonight during the concert that you were working on a uh, new album. It's going to be your 20th year since Firehouse hit it big. Uh, what are we going to hear from that? Well, we're definitely going to re-record a lot of our old uh, songs that were either the hits or some obscure songs that were album tracks that were songs that people know us for. Um, whether or not we do any new do any new songs and add them to this particular recording, we don't know yet. But uh, we're definitely re going to record these, uh, and then we'll go to the next uh, the next page of, of this book we're kind of writing. But. I don't know. We, we definitely are going to do the re-records of the old songs and kind of do them the way we do them live, do them, produce them with more of a, uh, a, a in-your-face kind of sound. And, uh, so updated a little yeah, bit. Yeah, and, and you know, the funny thing is, is that I'll go back and listen to the recordings that we did back in 1990, and I will um, listen to them, and I'll go, wow, I didn't know I played them like that. You know, I'm playing things a lot differently now, and I think it's just sort of a natural way of, uh, of sort of evolving. And uh, so we're going to kind of let people hear the way we're playing them now. Cool, cool. Okay, uh, Bill, thanks so much for taking time to speak with me tonight. Uh, My I, pleasure. I know that you could have taken time with any number of other people today. Uh, why'd you pick me? Uh, well, you know... Basically, because you're Johnny D. Martini and I'm not. That's good. That's good. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.